This video was sponsored by Blue Apron, a meal delivery service. Sign up using the link in the description and I'll tell you more about it at the end of the video. It's been a murder! Oh, oh we dead he is! It's a classic game of Clue. Who done it, where they done it, and with which weapon they uh, done it with. I say it was in the kitchen with the wrench by Miss Scarlet. <gasps> He's dead and alive, Brerie, with a bloody lead pipe! No, no. Oh, right. The killer is Mr. Green! Well, it could have been someone else. The game of Clue. Oh man, what a classic. Clue, known as Cluedo outside of the States, is a murder mystery board game originally published in 1949. Nowadays, the game is owned and published by Hasbro, who publishes other board game classics like Battleship Doe and Monopoly Doe. Clue has been around for ages and has tons of iterations and spin-offs, including but not limited to a book series, a VHS game that I'm definitely checking out later, and of course the cult classic film that's actually a pretty good movie. Today though, we are gathered together to take a look at 1998's Clue, Murder at Body Mansion. was so cool, I'm into it. If you've never played the Clue board game before, let me go over the basics. You assume the role of one of six characters, Miss Scarlet, Colonel Mustard, Mrs. White, Mr. Green, Mrs. Peacock, or Professor Plumb. They've all shown up to the house of Mr. Body, who is then murdered. Each of the six is a suspect in the murder, and our goal is to find out who committed the crime, with what weapon the crime was committed, and in which room. Now, a skilled detective would do things like examine the body of Mr. Body, or maybe look for possible motives. But since none of us are skilled detectives, we immediately proceed to drag each other into various rooms of the house and scream random accusations at each other. You see, each character, room, and weapon has a card. One of each is randomly placed inside a sealed envelope. Envelope. This represents the murderer, the weapon, and the location. The rest of the cards are dealt among the players. If you're holding, for instance, the lead pipe card, you know that it's not the murder weapon. So you venture to a room that you don't have a card for, accuse a person you don't have a card for of murder by way of a weapon that you don't have a card for. If someone has one of those cards, you'll get to see it privately, and then you know not to guess that card again. The first person to find the correct combination of the three cards is the winner. It's not really about finding clues at all, but I guess process of elimination dough just isn't that great of a board game title. Professor Plum, it is your turn. Please roll the die. Murder at Body Mansion is probably the best version of Clue that I've ever played. Well, I think I've only ever played the board game before, so maybe that's not too impressive of a claim, but this game is really, really good, assuming you enjoy the general mechanics of the game Clue. Each time someone makes an accusation, you get to watch a creepy cutscene of murder. I think out of everyone, the cutscenes featuring Mrs. White are the creepiest. These would have really scared me when I was younger, I think. They're very unsettling at times. Now, I don't know much about the murder victim in this game, Mr. Body. I can't say whether he was a good or bad person, if he had a Mac or a PC, if he pronounced it GIF or JIF, but what I do know is that his house is freaking stupid. Look at this place, there are hallways everywhere, no two rooms are connected except for two secret passageways. Which I recognize are cool, he gets some style points there, but it's like he took a cool looking house and said, you know, this place sure could use a ton of random hallways leading to windows, wouldn't that be nice? He does have excellent taste in music though. The soundtrack is amazing, and the clicking sound effects are extremely satisfying. The sound and visuals are what really sell this game for me. You can even interact with the environment a bit and wander around the rooms when it's your turn. 
Uh-oh, it looks like Miss Scarlet might have wandered a bit too far and ended up outside of the house. What are you doing out there? You're not, you're not supposed to be there. If you're picking up this game, be sure to also pick up the patch to this game. Version 2.2 fixes a lot of game-breaking issues. When you accuse another player of murder, it's a rule that the accused gets moved into the same room as you. Without the patch, players can be teleported outside of the house instead, and if it happens to you, you're unable to move, which can result in not being able to progress in the game. You can also just get stuck in random rooms. I kept getting stuck in the ballroom. No amount of clicking could free me. How do you get out of a room? Just let me out. After installing the patch and starting a new game though, I haven't run into any of these problems. If you're anything like me, you probably fear trying new things and love rolling dice, so you'll have a natural aversion to the no die roll mode, but I encourage you to live on the wild side a little and give it a shot. The die comes pre-rolled on your turn and features some higher numbers which lets you move around the house a bit faster. There's also some various other minor rule changes. Most of the time I'll probably stick with the classic mode, but it was still a good time. I also encourage giving the auto note setting a shot if you're finding taking notes a bit challenging. It does feel a little like cheating to have the computer jot down your notes for you, but the thing is that when you're shown a card, there's no visual indicator as to who is doing the showing. Mr. Green can disprove the suggestion. If you miss the voiceover telling you who it is, which I did a lot, there's no way to know. Auto Notes takes care of that minor struggle. there's not much more I can say about this game, it's just a really solid interpretation of Clue. They really got the atmosphere right, which is, in my opinion, one of the more important parts of Clue. I will say that I seem to be the murderer a lot, like more often than not, and I'm not sure if I was just getting unlucky or if the game was trying to say something about me as a person, but it was a little frustrating. In fact, the one time that I actually won the game, it ended up that I was the murderer, which means I solved the crime only to wind up in prison. It's a little hard to feel victorious when you see your character getting locked up, even if justice is being served. But I sure hope I served up a review that did this game justice. I know it's a smaller game than I usually feature on my channel, but I want to start covering more of these smaller games because they can be really cool and some are really nostalgic for me. In fact, sometimes the simplicity of the game is a much needed change of pace, and it's part of the reason I like it. I just hope you guys found this video interesting and that it was a treat for some Clue fans out there, because there's no doubt in my mind that this game was definitely a treat for me. And hey, speaking of treats, the first 100 viewers to use the Blue Apron link in the description of this video will get three meals off their Blue Apron order free. Blue Apron is a meal delivery service that allows you to create delicious chef-designed recipes at home, even if your kitchen is as claustrophobic as mine. Simply open the refrigerated box and follow the directions on the included recipe cards. No need to go to the grocery store, all the necessary ingredients are included, which is great for me because I'm really lazy. There's also no commitment, which means you can skip weeks or cancel at any time. If you're looking to shake up dinner time and brush up on your cooking skills all without leaving the comfort of your own home, well, you might just have a hankerin' for a box of Blue Apron. And if anyone from Blue Apron is listening, I know how cool that slogan I just made up sounds, so if you want to use it, go right ahead. I find that people really like it when you use words like hankerin'.